Hi guys! Yes, we're wearing the same outfits as last time because we are filming two videos in one day. Boss. I know, right? Just bam. Whipping them out. <laughs> so we're doing a library book haul because we Lester and I library. went to the library. Imagine that. Yep. We hadn't been in like a year and we were actually really excited to go. We got a good number of books between us, 15 in total. So you guys get to look at all the goodies that we'll hopefully get through soon, even though we each have lots of books. Books to... that we're already reading. Yep, and books sitting on our shelves, but that's just the way life is sometimes. Well, my first two books are really small, so I'm talking about them at the same time, plus they're related, so it's okay. Um, the first one is Perfect Princess by Meg Cabot, and then Sweet Sixteen Princess, also by Meg Cabot. I have read many of the Princess Diaries books, but I've not read all of them. I've so, read them all! But I'm going to finish them, and so these are the little, like, six and a half, you know, four and a half, in whatever. In, I think in between are ones. There's a really good Wikipedia page that tells you all about them, and you should actually look it up because I think this actually counts as one of them. Alright, Leslie's turn. We're gonna alternate. Yeah. If you remember the other day and you follow us on Twitter when I was tweeting desperately about the Inkheart trilogy and how I couldn't find Ink Death and then I realized it actually had come out. Uh, yeah, it's time to read Inkheart again since I haven't read it, I don't think since elementary school, maybe middle school. And I remember them being very, very good and I stopped in like the middle of Ink Spell, which is the second one, and I this, this deserves a reread. This is going to be the summer of rereading. I'll probably review this. Just because. Uh, next one is, <laughs> surprise, surprise, uh, Party Princess, also by Mad Cabot. Just, you know, moving on. Uh, this is, uh, number seven. Yeah, so I had read up to number six. This one's good. So I have to, yeah, let's list this one's good, and I would remember if I had read it, because you I would. was trying to figure out which, which one I had left off on. But yeah, that's my, that's my next book. Bex didn't want to take them all home. Yeah, I felt guilty taking all of them, so I only took four instead of six. <laughs> I then found The Darwin Conspiracy, which is a cool novel about why Darwin went on his journey in the first place. I really like Darwin ever since I took a Lincoln and Darwin class at university. And the author's name is Darnton. <laughs> the author of Neanderthal. Next one. Hold, hold, oh, wait oh, for it. oh, oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> Princess on the Brink, number this one eight. Yes, number eight. So I still have to read nine and ten. Those are the ones that I didn't take from the Ten library. is so good. But yeah, I can whip through these pretty quickly. They're not too hard and they're such fun. So they are. I grabbed they're a lot very of good. them. Mm -hmm. uh, the next book I got is part of a series called The Chronicles of Pride Day by Lloyd Alexander that I read as a child. I did a lot of let's look for things that you read as a child today at the library. And it is called The Book of Three. And it's about this kid named Taran, and he goes on a mystical adventure, and I'm really glad that these have been rebound, because they used to be all white, and now they're nice and black and sparkly and shiny, and he meets this girl named Ilanui? Ilanvi? It's, it's Welsh, like there are It's Welsh, Welsh so you tales. can all correct my Welsh if you want, if anyone knows it. <laughs> But uh, no, they're super mythological and fun and really exciting and very, very well written. And, and for younger kids. And for so younger like kids, you yeah. I mean, read it I mean age. it's very small. I'm really I'm excited to read this again. Pretty big font. It's got yeah. a lot of really cool characters and a lot of really cool um, animal thing, mutational kind of things. My next book is not a Meg Cabot book. What? Alas. It's uh, Between Shades of Grey by. Sounds like 50. Yeah, <laughs> uh, by <laughs> Ruta <laughs> Sepetis, not to be confused with Fifty Shades of Grey, which actually is happening apparently. I read about this. People are going to book events thinking that this book is the other book and vice versa because it's that confusing. But they're this, not. This is this is a young adult book and it uh, it involves like Soviet Russia, I believe, and yeah, Siberia and World War Two and <laughs> World War Two. Yeah, totally up my alley. So I've been wanting to read this book for a while. Totally it was on up my, your alley. I thought you were like mocking me at first. No! <laughs> totally up your alley. It is! Yeah! I did well by not choosing huge books so I can actually get through them fast. I just picked children's books. Yep. <laughs> like the next one, which is called uh, The Black Cauldron, and you can see the three like hag ladies on the front. This is the, the next one in the Chronicles of Pride Dane where they have to go and take back the Black Cauldron which has some cool mystical powers and stopping the, the evil guy from ruling the kingdom. You know, it's classic stuff. Yeah. 
My next book is one you should all recognize, and it is Across the Universe by Beth Ruffis. So many people have talked about this book, and I just saw it sitting there, and I was like, hey, it's actually there! I'm really excited to read this just because tons of people have read it, and everyone's really seemed to like it a lot. I don't think this is the original cover for The Air Affair, but Becca said this was really good, so I decided I would get it. Also, we both really like Jane Eyre, and I particularly love Jane Eyre. And I don't know quite what it's about, but it's probably going to be cool since the first thing it says on the inside in the synopsis is Great Britain circa 1985. Can't go wrong with the 80s. The next book I got was Once Upon a River by Bonnie Jo Campbell. This is also um, another book that's been getting a lot of attention, re attention reviews lately. Yeah, attention, that's, that's a good word. And the main reason I like it is because the main character's name is Margot Crane, and just so you all can stalk me some more, my last name is Crane. So, yeah, immediately appeals to me in that sense. I also picked up Mark the Suzak's The Book Thief, which I first heard about from, guess who, John Green, and I know a lot of people have really read and very much liked uh, the librarian who was kind of poking around while we were in the library being like, oh, can I help you? And Beck and I were just like, no, nope. it's okay, oh, we, we got it. all the time. <laughs> yeah, um, she said that she was expecting to be, I think, kind of disappointed by this a little bit, and it turned out to be a lot better of a story than she imagined, and very yeah. well written. People so love this book. People, yeah, a lot of people love this I want to read it, book. too. I mean, it's so, such a... I'm psyched. Yeah. This will probably be one of the first couple. It's another World War II book, too, I think. Oh, good. I can deal with that. And the last book I got uh, is Zone One by Colson Whitehead, another one of my to-be-read sitting on that pile, you know, like, you look at my Goodreads kind of thing. And it's a zombie apocalypse book basically and it's like after the initial infection and then this is sort of the worst of the plague is over and now they're trying to recover and that's sort of what this is. Also once again a thin book because I made good choices and got small books so I can finish them. Your turn. Whoa. I got this one because it looks kind of nautical and cool. It's called Nick of Time and it's about this kid who takes time adventures on a boat in England. In the... There's a um, theme. Yeah. World War II in England. I mean, I guess so. It's 1939. Oh, ooh, and there's talk ooh, about boats. a This one has a boat! There's a map in the front! This Th we have map. boat themes! Boat themes! Boat themes! <laughs> We're both kind of boat inclined anyway. Yeah, else, yeah. So. Oh. That's that. Bam! Hopefully we did that in a reasonable amount oh. of time! <laughs> and with that, we close this video. <sighs> well, thank you guys for watching. And for... You know, all that shit's all that below. All that stuff. <laughs> all that stuff's below. Bye! Bye.